My name is David Goldman. I practice ophthalmology with a specialty in cornea and anterior segment here in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I am so happy and so lucky that I was able to find ophthalmology or ophthalmology found me. Going through med school as I went through all the rotations, everything was interesting but, but missing something to the point where I wasn't even sure I was going to practice medicine upon finishing. I thought maybe I'd go into business school. Happenstance, I, I entered the operating room with an oculoplastic surgeon one day and I voiced my frustrations to her and, and she really opened my eyes to what ophthalmology could mean. The gratification you can give your patients, restoring sight, the ability to operate frequently. Patients today are very different than the patients that we used to have coming into the practice. And so they'll often come in asking about partly automated cataract surgery. And when it gets to that point, now we can have an answer for them. The Zepto Precision Cataract Surgery System this is a device meant to create a perfect capsulotomy within the anterior lens capsule when performing cataract surgery. I think it's beneficial for effective lens position, but more importantly, when you're doing toric lenses, I think it limits the amount of post-op rotation you can get with the lenses. Additionally, if you have a patient with, let's say, a white cataract or poor visibility of the anterior lens capsule when performing your capsulorexis, again, you have the ability to create a capsulotomy without any concerns about rent or Argentine flag sign or any of those other uh, types of complications. When it gets to that point, now we can have an answer for them. And again, with a technology like this that's much more cost effective, uh, it's something that even an ophthalmologist that's not in a big group or not in a big surgery center can afford to purchase and integrate into the practice without a big financial burden. Since integrating Zepto into the practice, I've decreased my femtosecond laser volume to almost zero. For me, that's been an incredible time savings. Every time in the past when I had a patient coming in for femtosecond laser, it was kind of a deep sigh shrug because I knew it was gonna add time and slow me down and take me out of that rhythm bouncing between two rooms. With the Zepto, there's no decrease in that fluidity of the day and it just works seamlessly with what we do. And the outcomes, I would argue, are equally good to any femtosecond laser system out there. In fact, possibly better because we've seen the clinical trials that show that prostaglandin levels are higher after performing a femtosecond laser procedure upon entering the operating room. But because this is done in the operating room at the time of surgery, that risk is mitigated. And again, if you have a patient, for example, with poorly dying pupils, that's one who may be a candidate uh, for Zepto, but not a candidate for femtosecond laser surgery, unless you're willing to put in a ring or iris hooks and bring them back to the machine, which obviously brings in concerns for infection. Day after day, when I get to see these patients uh, after surgery and they're so appreciative and, and to be able to help them that much, it's really, I couldn't imagine doing anything else and I'm just so happy that uh, I ended up in ophthalmology.